Okay, this is the video of the 1982 Yamaha 650 Turbo Seika. And I'm going to do a walk around and then start it up here in a little bit. Um, the bike is in really good condition. And one of the things that's very unusual for this bike is to find one that only has 8,200 miles on it. But part of the reason for that is it's been in a couple different collections uh, over the last 15 years. So it hasn't really got driven much. Anyway, I'll start here. You can look at the tank shelter, see the condition of the plastic. And for filling, you push this button and then you got a locking gas cap. And I will try and see if we can look inside the tank out here. Um, yeah, you can see it. It's uh, you can see the tank is really clean, and there's there's no rust. On both sides of the fairing, you have a locking compartment which is bigger than something you'd put gloves into, but very handy. And unlike the Honda ones, the Yamaha compartments actually lock on both sides instead of just one side. Okay, we'll continue the walk around. You can see, note all the fairing pieces and stuff are in pretty darn good shape when you consider the age of the bike. And for the buffs who care, this is where it was bought at. You can see the engine cases are very clean. There's no damage. You can see the exhaust pipes on both sides are like this. No damage. They're the original pipes. For those who don't know, on this bike, the left side exhaust is where the engine exhausts in normal operation. And the right side exhaust is only used when the wastegate of the turbo opens up. So if you're starting the bike on a cold morning, you only see hot exhaust coming out of one side, which Freaks out a lot of people until they realize how the design works. So we continue. You can look at the turn signals. You see that there's just no abuse. It does have some wear and tear. You can see here. But overall it's in really good condition. I haven't seen an 82 Turbo in better condition than this that is operational and functioning. And this one does all of that. Shaft drive. You got cast mag wheels which run tubeless. And you have the uh, air adjustable shocks which is really cool. See some little scuffs, but nothing of any major concern. Still has the labels everywhere. You can see the new turbo right there. I'll be showing more pictures of that because I just had the turbo rebuilt. The wastegate was stuck open when we unmothballed it. And so instead of just cleaning that up and putting it back on, I set it to G-Pop, who are specialists in turbos, and paid $425 and had it totally cleaned, rebuilt, and blueprinted and balanced. Okay. So, turn the key on. And I will show you 
a high beam or a low beam, high beam, tail light, it's cool, they got two bulbs, so if one burns out, you're still running cool, brake light, left turn signal, right turn signal, Horn, a little wimpy, but that's kind of the way they were. Then here's the choke, so turn that on. And we'll hit the starter button. All the way off so you can see that it's idling off choke which is real important and you have the little turbo gauge here so you do the check button here and it goes through and, and sequences everything you can see that you can do it again got a little reflection going on here Now, the boost gauge, you have to have the bike in gear with a load on to get the boost to move because there's no load on the engine so the boost doesn't kick in. So when you're driving it, when you open the throttle like if you're in second or third gear, then you see the boost gauge actually kick in. All the dash lights work. There's left turn signal, right turn signal, neutral, Beam. So it's real important to know that these aren't idling like this, off of choke, you could have some tuning issues that does not exist here. So, not sure what else you'd like to see. Here we go. First gear. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth, fourth, third, second, and neutral. So there you go. Be sure and read all the uh, ad text and look at all the pictures because um, on an older turbo like this, it's huge to have a professionally rebuilt turbo. Uh, put in the bike because that means you're going to have you know decades of trouble-free use. Thank you.